All right. So now, after our first, the first part of our weekend twofer, we got a weekend 1.5, and now we finally come to our weekend twofer, the second part of our weekend twofer. Now this has been delayed for for how many weeks? Maybe it's delayed for guys uh, two to three weeks already. But then uh, we finally get to. I finally get to share one of my recent purchases, which is uh, Kamen Rider Jean. Now, this is pretty new. It's actually, I will be unboxing this with you, just like what I did with uh, Todo previously. Now, Kamen Rider Jean, um, Kamen Rider Jean is the f female rider for the Kamen Rider Revise series. So, if you remember, Kamen Rider Revise, I would say is my second favorite uh, Kamen Rider series next to Kamen Rider 4s. <clears throat> Excuse me now, Kamen Rider Jean is the, uh, the, 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 the only female rider for this series and um, she is actually the sister, the sister of uh, Kamen Rider Revy or Iki Garashi. Now, um, she is um she also has the same weapons and let me open and i guess um this is also one of my newest purchases we we're, we're going to open this we're going to unbox this uh together as i haven't i've only seen what's inside in in videos and um the only thing that i've done so far is just to remove the one one side of the tape and we can do boxes together now um she is one of the She's actually became pretty popular because the um, the actress the actress was actually a pretty popular uh, model and the thing is um, she was uh, she she actually was so popular that they made a separate if I'm not mistaken if it's a separate movie wherein she joined the other uh, female riders of the the Reiwa series now she also got popular because. Uh, Kamen Rider Revise actually no actually had a sec has a second female rider, uh, Kamen Rider Aguilera, which I haven't I haven't bought yet, but I'm actually trying to save money on that. It's actually pretty she's actually pretty harder to find than Kamen Rider Jean, but um, I got this in my recent trip to Nagoya. I was able to find a figure, and I would say it's one of my happier purchases. So it's open now. Kamen Rider Jean, as you can say, she's female, and um, also included is the stamp, uh, the Cobra, the Cobra V stamp. And here is Kamen Rider Jean. All right, so Kamen Rider Jean with the instructions. So, oh, okay. So it's actually two parts. So, cool. so Kamen Rider Jean has two parts. First is the figure in its figure itself. Uh, with her are the the, the vis stamp. She has oh two vis stamps. So she has the oh she has three vis stamps. So she already has a vis stamp from her belt, which is I guess the cobra vis stamp. Then there's the other vis stamp for the 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 love go vis stamp, and then a separate uh, display. And um, okay, so. And the and the weapons pack is her fan weapon, which is um which is her love go her demon. Then we also have uh, another vistamp which I think is the mammoth vistamp, the mammoth vistamp, and a new weapon for her vice. And now let's. Go. Now actually, personally speaking, I'm not really much. Well. I grew up having male riders, the male Kamen riders. So, uh, with regards to uh, female riders, I wasn't really that particular with female riders. But since Force, my favorite uh, rider in the in his um, in his movie, uh, featured a female rider, Kamen rider Nadeshiko. So since I loved the series so much, I I got Nadeshiko. It took me a while to find one also. So when I saw that. Um, Kamen Rider Jean, they had they had a female rider. I also would want I also would want to have my own okay, my own rider, but the problem is I since I got Jean, I might be compelled to get uh, Kamen Rider Aguilera, 
Uh, she's a little harder to find, but she's hard to find as well. But we had to, um, we're going to be looking for figures of this soon. Hopefully, I get to find one and I get to share it with you guys as well. So this is the figure. As you can see, she has a tail that is soft plastic. Um, it's very flexible, so I guess it it'll prevent prevent it from breaking. Though it's a little too soft for my taste. Um, paint application is a bright blue, and the translucent, translucent eye thing. Now the figure in itself, it seems like she's wearing uh, thigh boots, and the shoe shoe has a little bit of a heel. I think that's something that I notice with um, Cameron Rider female figures that they usually have something like a of a heel. Uh, maybe it's to differentiate male and female with regards to the costumes. And as you can see, just like Todo, she still has her um, plastic middle protectors because most of the figures have that. Now, let's, since we're going to unbox it, since we're going to do it together, and let's I'll share it. So usually we just pull it off. If you'd really like to really make sure, you can cut, pull the body off, but I don't think it's, it should really work. I it can just you can already do this by just pulling it off, so it's easier. <laughs> so I think it's easier, and it doesn't really mess with the figure. I mean, because it's when you're gonna buy a figure. Now the next, actually, this a lot more. This you should just have two, but I guess, and there. All right. So this is Kamen Rider G. Now it's funny because you can see with the way it's sculpted, it's like she's. She's having this off-shoulder thing in her in her suit, uh, in her armor, in her well, in her suit. But it doesn't really. It's actually a good thing because it doesn't affect the um, shoulder articulation. Um, well, she, since she's supposedly female, it's she's thinner than most, but not with not with regards to height. Um, the vis stamp is attached this way, and it moves. So what you can see here in the Vistamp is actually it's actually the cobra sign, since um, the the animal that's used is the cobra, and um, articulation is always on point. Oh yeah, they since it's female, it has more of a pronounced uh, butt. Now, uh, as it comes, uh, it comes with the different hands for posability, and it also comes with this. What is this? So, um, unlike Revise, wherein uh, it changes with the belt, well, just like Revise, it changes with the belt. Since she usually has uses two vest stamps, uh, you can replace this front part of the belt uh, to transfer for this. Because if you use a different vest stamp, it uses a different uh, design. Like this one's a Cobra, and this is for the Love Cove. And so, uh, figure-wise, articulation-wise, it's always good since it's an SHF. Um, Sculpt-wise, it's actually pretty nice because um, it does have the, you can really see it's female. Um, the figures stands pretty well, you know. Um, it's a great design. Colors are vibrant. Uh, well, I, I, I always find the female designs a little bit different, but this is very... It's simple, it's simple yet very, uh, I mean, cool, very battle ready. So, um, paint apps are really nice, pretty bright. Now, one thing that I'd like to add from the figure is that, so let's move the plastic out. One thing I'd like to really showcase actually are the different, are the weapons. Now, these, uh, one of her, um, because Iki's sister has her own demon, but unlike um, unlike her, unlike Iki's brother, but the demon is a little more malicious or malevolent. Uh, her demon is actually pretty pretty tame, and it's just really more of a a big big puppet, um, big looking mascot looking thing. But the thing with the the thing with her the thing with her demon is it becomes weapons, and one of her weapons is actually a bazooka, which. Unfortunately, they did not make. But one thing they do, they did make for her is that the, this is the demon's eyes. It becomes a fan. Because she fights with a fan. So just like um, in martial arts, she uses the, a fan as a weapon. 
But one thing I'd also like to feature is that uh, one thing I like to feature is this weapon. This is the this is actually Revice's weapon. Now the thing here is that uh, maybe it's a marketing thing, but uh, when you buy Revice, you buy him bare. But when you buy Vice, uh, when you buy Vice, it includes different weapons. So that maybe if you really, if you really want to complete the different weapons of uh, Revice or, or, Vi or Revi, you have to buy the different figures. Now, this is actually a combination of two weapons. It is a combination of the axe. The axe weapon, which you can get from... Uh, Kamen Rider Vice and the hammer. The hammer is uh, is the weapon that you, that you will have that you will get when you buy Kamen Rider Evil. Now, actually, this has a special name. It's a German something name which I can't remember at the moment. But this is the this is what it, what this is the two figures uh, the two weapons that you that you'll be getting if you buy. Uh, these separate figures. Actually, there's another one, the cell phone gun, which you can get from Kamen Rider Demons. So, I think it's a marketing thing. Maybe it's to, it's something to force you to buy. Um, I'm not sure what Kamen Rider Aguilera has. I don't, but never. I think these these are the only weapons left. So, maybe Kamen Rider Aguilera doesn't have a weapon, but I'm sure. I'm I, I don't think so. I, upon checking them before. I, I don't think it's. I don't think we do. They, it's there now. The weapon. This axe is actually a twofold weapon. Uh, it can be an axe, and it can be a gun. Yes, yes, it's actually a gun. So you'll know it's, it's an axe because the blade is bigger, and then you can. It becomes a gun. Oh, so it's right here. It becomes a gun when the axe blade is smaller. Now you can you, this both of these you can get from Vice. Now what happens is, um, usually in Kamen Rider weapons they actually mix together. You put them together and then it becomes this. So it becomes like a swordy axe thing. So I guess this one you get to bend the um, the part of the um, the the axe or I guess yeah, like this. So you. It's basically that way, stick it together, then it extends and it will look like a sword. So I guess this completes the weapon packs of Kamen Rider device. So it, um, it also completes the weapons, but it's just that you have to buy three fig no, four figures to complete this. So um, it's a good marketing ploy, especially for someone like me who's a big fan of Revise. And I'm also it also gives me pretty much big nice sense of fulfillment getting all the weapons together so this is what it looks like and it's a good it's a it's a great weapon actually i bear he barely used it but nevertheless it's still part of his weapon uh weapon arsenal which of course we have to get so these are some of just I'd like to share it now uh soon i'll be taking some pictures some more, more some more pictures of this but um, i'm actually pretty happy that it took me so much uh took me a long time for me to unbox uh, and, and then I'd like to share this unboxing with you. So articulations on point. Actually, her, of course, being a girl, I guess, um, her frame is a lot thinner. So maybe it might, I uh, might have to really take care of her a lot a better, a lot more. Um, there is bicep curl. There, aside from the bicep, there is a bicep curl. So um, it, she, looks she looks thin, but all the articulation is there. Uh, Something that might concern me is this, the tail, uh, but nevertheless, he's, it's soft, so it doesn't hamper neck movement, um, and the um, figure itself is actually uh, very nice, very underrated. Now, uh, I'm still trying to find um, Kamen Rider Aguilera. It's, she's a little bit more different, but and apparently I, the one I saw is pretty expensive, so I'm, I'm still really debating on how... no. Actually, I want I want to get it, but I'm just trying to find a way uh, to save the money for it. It's actually pretty expensive. So, but uh, sooner or later, I'm, uh, it, Wayne's World. Just what Wayne and Wayne's World said. Oh yes, she will be mine. So again, this is Kamen Rider uh, Jean, one of the female riders for Kamen Rider Revise. Um, it's a very good figure. 
It's just that here in the Philippines, it's pretty hard to find her. But I guess it's one of the nicer figures. It's a really nice female figure. Um, nicely done, nicely sculpted, very nice proportions. So uh, if you guys would like to check it out, you can uh, either check it out online. Uh, there's a lot of toy shops that are set, are allowing uh, allowing deliveries from from Japan or overseas. So this is a really good figure. And um, again, thank you very much for uh, for watching my video, for letting me share my my, my most recent purchase for you guys. Um, I would say this is a worthwhile purchase. You, not because I'm a Kamen Rider Vice fan, but um, the uniqueness of her being a female rider, um, the extra weapons, the vibrant colors, and the great sculpt. Uh, this is a good. This is a good figure, a uh, really good figure to have. So again, thank you very much. I guess this completes my weekend. It might just be a threefer, right? More of a threefer. Uh, and I hope that um, next week we'll uh, we'll be sharing a little bit more figures. Now I might have to go through my my mini Kamen Rider Evil Shrine. I've already um, amassed a bit of, of a few figures for this. You know, with Kamen Rider, uh, with Kamen Rider Evil and his other stuff. Uh, but I haven't really finalized on what we get yet. Or we can, we can, we will be, con or we will be continuing with our um, Kamen Rider Heisei Series Two fig, Heisei Part Two figure figure. So we still have a lot of them to tackle. Oh, we have a lot more toys to tackle. And so thank you very much for taking the time to watch this. Um, have a great day. You know worthwhile purchase and thank you for thank you for unboxing this with me and sharing this moment with me thank you very much and have a great day